Stella Rosa Moscato. Try it, it's really good. Got my glass filled with ice. That's how I like to drink my wine. I wanted to leave my job after eight years working there. I applied online. A few days later, three hospitals called me. Went to all three interviews. All three hospitals offered me a position. I accepted a job. Congratulations to me for always being a go-getter. When things get tough, I work through it. No matter what, I'm always gonna be okay. Congratulations, Bliss. You deserve it. Cheers. Mmm, y'all, I'm telling you this wine tastes so good. If you haven't tried it, try it right now. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge actually so I can drink some more later. I have no more ice, so I gotta keep this cool. Me. Just for me, that can satisfy me. Just for me. Before I start reacting to Everyday Days, uh, the video is called James Charles Makeup Tutorial for Date Night. I want to say another cheers, okay? Cheers to the impeachment of Donald Trump. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Wine never tasted so damn good. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Let's begin, shall we? Hola, how you doing? We're back with another ugly at the beginning, ugly with some face paint at the end. No, <laughs> we're back with the get ready with me. The Ray Charles one? Yeah, let's do the chain Charles. Chain Charles. <laughs> Hi, we're ugly at the beginning. Well, not you, you're fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Which is the reason that she's my girl and that we're going on a date. We're gonna do a get ready with me date night edition. Let's do this. Look. Hi, sisters. James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Beginner. I feel like I'm a beginner. I feel like I never watched any tutorials to do my makeup. First off, I know nothing about makeup. I don't wear makeup, never have before. So they're getting ready for date night. So, okay, my advice to all couples, date night is so important. Make sure you save some time with your partner. Date night once a week, date night every few days. Just make sure you do it. I just did what I kind of saw and emulated it, as you can tell from my lifelong career of mistakes. Shouldn't have done that. However, let's just follow a James Charles tutorial and let's go out on a date with our makeup like that. So we're gonna look beautiful. Juju and I haven't gone on a date night in how long? A couple of months. A few months. That's bad. That's I mean, bad. We stay busy. Like I'll be working on music. I'll be working on so many things. And I do gotta admit, I do feel like it does get to you. I guess subconsciously, I guess like you don't think time. about it. I mean, until I... it gets to you, and you're just like, I don't even know it. I'm crying. And like, <laughs> oh, we haven't hung out alone. Uh. Maybe sometimes you forget like how much we are actually into each other because we're just always busy, and then we end up bickering, and then we end up I not forget. talking to each other. Like I forget just me by myself. I forget, we forget. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The less time you spend with your partner, the more distance you're creating. The less communication, the less affection, the less intimacy, the less of everything. To the point where the second you do have time together, you're talking about the issues that you have together instead of reminiscing about the good times and creating great memories, okay? So you're just wasting the valuable time that you could be having with your partner because it all stems from lack of time together. I'm telling y'all, day night's important. Wee wee. Wee wee. Bonjour, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna try this blur stick. I already told y'all about how I feel about this. I still haven't figured it out. Yeah, the last get ready with me, I kind of already like started some like CC cream and stuff. So this time, this is like my bare face. I know it's really scary, but it's gonna get better. You just gotta stay watching the video and you're gonna see the transformation. Do you like our matching vibe higher sweaty sweaters? Sweaties. If you're new to my career or to us as a whole, we have a clothing line called Vibe Hire. You can go check it out. Um, put a vibe hire shop. We also have a crew named Vibe Hire. We're going tour with vibe higher like this is a thing this is a life and i will it's a lifestyle it a little bit more maybe in this video maybe in another one because i think a lot of people got me all the way 
fucked up. Sis. Anyway, I hate the word sis, by the way. Did you Especially hear it? when we sis each other. So oh, yeah. Funny. When we sis each other, and if we're mad, you just hear a big ass. Oh, they call me sis. Oh, I'd be <laughs> so pissed. So we're gonna too. like start on the basic stuff before we follow the tutorial, which is like, she loves her lip liner. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tell her what lip liner to put. That's her go to. Yo, I've had makeup artists that like got paid a real amount of money from a major label to do my makeup, and these bitches will dead ass try to take off my lip liner and do something else, and I'm like, oh. But it's not what we're gonna do. It's cause this is the thing about the beauty community. They don't accept the chola look, okay? And but honestly, Snow the product is a fucking chola. I mean, think about it. She wears tons of hairspray or mousse, whatever it is for her curly ass hair. So her hair is very hard. And she wears lip liner, okay? That's the chola look. That's just how it, that's just how it is. Yeah, she always does her liner herself. She's like, you could do everything else, just don't touch my lip. Oh, I forgot something. I'm gonna come right back. When you like your color, you like your color. I don't know what I would do without this lip liner. And it's like, it's not like a hard, crusty lip liner. Like, there's a lot of pencils that are like a pencil. This isn't. So it's a little chunky, so it does give you a little bit of like volume looking. I love this shit. I don't... I already put it in the air that I want to do makeup at some point, but I'm going to do makeup that like, I don't know, something different. You know what I'm saying? Like not, obviously all these people are perfect at what they do. Obviously like, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't going to do my makeup like this. <laughs> this ain't an endorsement by the way. This is just straight up. We were at Ulta and it was there and Juju was like, let's try to do some crazy makeup because he'd be doing some crazy makeup. So I was like, okay. But some people got it down pat. Y'all know what y'all doing. This is your career. Good job. I'm trying to do some shit for the girls that are like, huh? You know what I'm saying? Let's the average look, what you I mean? What I can tell you is lashes will save your fucking life. There's been so many times when I literally like, my eyeliner's a little bad or my shadow's not really blended or I don't know what I'm doing or I'm not wearing any shadow. Bam, you pop on some lashes. Ha! You know what I mean? But anyway. But yeah, me and Juju haven't gone out on a date night. It's very important for a healthy relationship to do that. I think at the beginning of our relationship, we had a lot of issues because a lot of people don't know, but like, I'm constantly around people. I don't get alone time. I'm either doing meet and greet at a show. Hell no. I would hate that. With other people, with other producers. My house has uh. like an apartment in the back and then another apartment in the back. So it's like, I live with some of my team members. I'm at the warehouse where there's other people that are there all the time. Like, you know, my cousin stays over there. And for people who don't know about the warehouse or whatever, like we're gonna walk you through it too at the beginning of our relationship we slept at the warehouse like for months. months yeah so we were always around everybody and we promised Ooh, ourselves i would that hate we would that try to have date nights as much as we could because obviously dating someone with a kid you know how it is your kid comes first priority even your significant other probably feels weird being like yo can we have some time alone from your kid who are you talking to because i know for damn sure that that was not me i've always put and my wife knows this I've always put my stepchildren before myself and before even her, okay? If they're under age, under the age of 18, and they're not adults, and they're, they're considered children, even teenagers, we are responsible for those kids and what happens to them in the future, okay? So I do what I can to put them on the right path. Whatever decision that is, I make, I, my intentions are always good, always good. I want them to have a successful life, whatever that may be. I just want them to be happy. So the kids will always come first. Now, once they become adults, that's when you have to put your spouse first because your adult children will now have family of, families of their own and their priority is gonna be their families. And that's just how life is, that's how life works. We are no longer responsible for them as human beings. They have to make their, their decisions, bad or good, and they have to run with it. There's nothing we can do. And if you are someone with no children and you're planning on dating someone with children, you have to be aware of that. And they get along really well. Baby Juice even made a comment where he was like, Juju's like a teenager and I'm almost gonna be a teenager. And I was like, that's what are you trying to like insinuate? Like, you, you know? In other words, I think he was just trying to say that I'm kind of immature. Because <laughs> Juju is immature. I never did poop jokes or fart jokes or anything around baby Drew until Juju came along. So he's definitely been enjoying, and my brother too, he's been enjoying the immature jokes being flung around here. Yeah, you guys think I'm silly with y'all. Imagine with baby Drew. I'd love to say funny stuff and watch his reaction. I know, because he always makes a crazy reaction. I miss him. So my son isn't here today. Um, I've had him for what 30 days straight. Yeah, I've had him for like 30 days straight He hasn't gone to his dad's house and finally two days away. I'm like, okay, we gonna have fun when the kids away he's gonna go play. <laughs> Hey 
So sometimes I like to put this thing called oil. <coughs> they even have some that you could put in your hair too, which is lit. I love I love the um, what is it sheen or shine? Mm -hmm. Argan oil sheen or shine is like bomb for your hair when you straighten it. But now they have like this face one that I like. It does make your face look pretty oily, so I'm probably gonna gross you out right now. But I like to put it under all that makeup so my skin doesn't like dry on. Yeah. So this is by Physicians Formula. You could get it like literally at the pharmacy. It's super cheap and I like it. So I do concealer first. Like I'm saying, like we're we're just gonna follow his eyes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is pretty much like a it's like a glow primer kind of adds like a highlight type of look and i like to mix it with my foundation i don't always wear foundation but lately i've been feeling kind of like self-conscious with my skin for some reason i don't know you have the most amazing skin this isn't even like to gas you up but you do seem like the girl that has the perfect skin and you're always like i'm self-conscious about my skin but it's always like that though if you are thin if you're skinny you wish to be thicker if you are thicker you wish to be thinner if you have curly hair, you wish to have straight hair. If you have straight hair, you wish to have curly hair. We always want what we don't have. I just feel that every human being on this planet is always unsatisfied. We're just never satisfied with anything in life. And that's what makes us so difficult. And I don't think you do it to be a dick. Like, there's some girls that are like, I'm so fat. And they're really not. But, like, do you see your skin? I just feel like I, I like, like, I get redness right here. Sometimes I you're feel like... you're human and you have blood? You know, <laughs> I, I just feel like it evens out my skin tone. So, I'm not against foundation. Actually, this is a really cheap brand. It's Revlon. It's called Photo Ready Insta Filter. I don't know if you can... How do you... How do you beauty people people still well anyway wear revlon and then i just add like a little bit of my primer on it and it comes with a sponge so i just wipe that shit all over my face listen i don't know what the hell they're talking about right now they're talking about primer and shit and uh foundation and something like that i know nothing about that stuff it just looks to me that they're putting on some clown makeup on that's what it looks like there's their kids and they're painting their face i don't know I never understood the whole makeup thing. I know, I kind of did a way too much concealer. No, I, you can blend it out. So pretty much it has like a sponge type of blender type of thing. So I pretty much just like mudge it all over and then I like dab it. <laughs> so it could like... But do you see how it just like evens out your skin tone? I kind of put a little... <laughs> Where does snow go? I got excited, I guess. So you see how it like gives me like the even skin tone? Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't want to wear makeup, but you want to look like you not have the definitely foundation or CC cream is the way to go. <laughs> what okay, so that's what I need then is foundation. Because I know that around my eyes, it's looking really red. Um, I look dead. I look like a zombie. I understand that. I probably need it. I hate my marks. I hate these marks that my glasses created. I've worn glasses for so many years throughout the day, every day to the point where I believe these marks are permanent now. So that kind of sucks. What do you want to do for our date? Um, I mean, I feel like the perfect date, I would love to like go to an Airbnb and like go food shopping and like get some wine and shit and just like, just like enjoy the night just somewhere far away from everybody. <laughs> Aww. Just, like, you know. I think that's cute. She's simple. She just wants to spend time with her girl. That's all. Away from everybody, some alone time, one on one. See, it's not that hard to to make someone happy. Oh, do what we do. Yeah, no. What? Love each other. It's when cute, I first right? did my makeup in front of my girlfriend, she thought I was super weird for putting two concealers together, but she didn't know that they were two different shades. So I guess she just thought I just kept piling it on top of each other. Well, because I would mix mine, but you would like put them separately. Mm -hmm. Well, usually I, I would put this yellow concealer by LA Girl, which is my favorite. It's mad cheap and it's like the best cheap concealer you could buy. And they have like this yellow concealer that it kind of just like, to me, I feel like I don't have dark circles no more when I put it. When I put concealer without it, I feel like I need another layer. So sometimes I add this yellow concealer. This is the light yellow, so it's probably going to be a little too bright. This is like the bushiest I've ever seen eyebrows. <laughs> Damn. I'm growing them out. You smell good. Thank you. Oh, you know it's day night. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know it's date night when she puts on that perfume. She has Aww. this perfume that I met her with. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to wear any other perfume. Like, I've tried other perfumes because it's somewhat discontinued. Like, I could find it, like, on the internet and shit, but, like, they don't sell it in stores at all. Even when I go to Macy's or something, they're like, ew, we don't have that here, bitch. <laughs> oh it's pretty much her. I, I don't want to tell y'all exactly what curve it is because I don't want everybody smelling like me. You know, I want when my girl smells me to be like, that's right, girl. Okay. But it's like that's right, cause uh, so when you pass away, whatever that day is, you wanna haunt her ass, okay? So to make sure to remind her ass not to move on, okay? When she smells that scent, <laughs> why my mind went there, I don't know why, but when she smells that scent, she's like, oh shit, Juju's still around. I can't have nobody in my home. Fuck, I can't move on. Fuck it, I'ma die alone. <laughs> Curve, so yeah, typical Puerto Ricans wearing curve. I got it one year, I think I was in late seventh grade. I got it, my mom like bought me a perfume. She used to always take me to Marshalls and stuff, and then I sold the perfume and I loved the packaging. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh my god, I loved it. And I loved it so much that like I would barely use it. It was so weird because when I first met Juju, I don't know if you were wearing it that night, but I remember. I think I was. Yeah. Because it was my birthday week. Yeah, that perfume is funny because it's like, yeah, you're right, like it's like curved, like it's not that expensive. But I remember something about you that I really liked and then you didn't have it for like a long time because like and then one day randomly I linked up with you again and I was like <gasps> I was like that smell oh uh. smell look at the smelly smell the smelly <laughs> smell it smells smelly and you know like when you associate like a smell to like something particular like I remember that like I was like <gasps> that and i couldn't stop smelling her the whole time it's a memory so like wear that so she always like i freaking bought her like a shit ton like um because they're just they're discontinued so i literally went on amazon and i like bought all of them <laughs> like she has some more expensive ones but i was like just, just do that. <laughs> yeah, anyway well. we should try this ray charles thing ray <laughs> james charles, james james charles. charles. Okay. Babe, you keep saying ray charles <laughs> but yeah so like when i know she's musical that's, like, that's where her mind naturally goes to She's like not that happy with me. I'll just like spray some perfume. Oh, I like put it in my hair too. So Ooh, it's like one time we were in a real argument. She freaking put on the shirt I met her with. That's how you <laughs> know she knew she had stuff. <laughs> she shows up with the perfume and the shirt she met oh. me with. I still have that shirt too. It smells so good. All right, what are we doing here? We're about to wash this. That's the most flirtatious that I've seen Snow be with her. She's not really good with PDA, but in this video, she's showing a lot of affection. And I'm thinking because it's date night, she's just getting in the mood of things, you know, it's cute. This too. <laughs> Well, we can start this. A very, very long one. So, grab your Oh, not a very long one. <laughs> very, 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 very long video with lots of helpful tips and tricks. Grab your notepad and a pencil because it'll be hopefully some really great information. Grab the tail of your brow. If you hold your brow pencil at the corner of your nose and then <laughs> look, at the, of your look at them, yo. James Charles is hard to understand sometimes. He talks so fucking fast. He does not stop. And so, and you, people want to follow your tutorial, so everyone has to just keep pausing it, pausing it, pausing it. And look at them, they're so like, uh... They're trying to pay close attention. They are concentrating right now. Your eye, your brows touch, just like that. So let's get there. Now they have all three of those points mapped out. <laughs> no! I was gonna say, Snow gave up. She's like, fuck it. <laughs> oh yeah. I love brow pencils. When I first met her, she used to use the pomade one. And I was just like, I don't know. I, I don't know how, how this is gonna work, girl. <laughs> okay, well my eyebrows are not gonna be as good as James Charles. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. I feel like that's your least favorite part of your makeup. Well, my eyebrow? Yeah. Well, yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing and I just don't have the time. All right, come on, girl, because if you're trying to go on a date, if you're trying to go on a date, it's already 5.30, unless you're trying to go to the club. I really want to like shave. I want to shave the tips of my eyebrows so I can have straight eyebrows instead of them curving down to my face. But I'm pretty sure she would hate me if I did. That. You want to what? I want like the straight brows. Gross. Curve. It looks no. pretty cute. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna admit something to y'all right now. When I first met Juju, I remember that there would be times where obviously I always thought she was gorgeous, but there was definitely a few times where I would look at your eyebrows and be like, yeah. It's, it's the whole doing your eyebrows when you hide because I do my eyebrows. I've done my eyebrows for years. One day my eyebrow lady ended up moving back to her country and ever since then I've just done my own eyebrows. So yeah, I kind of learned the hard way to not do it when I'm high. So I, I've been on my own <laughs> since 13. That's why I had so many phases uh -huh. of eyebrows. 
Do not shave your hair, girl. Here you go. Oh, I like brown hair. Yeah, because y'all got hair. What about bitches like me? I'm gonna put gel on it. It's just gonna look slick. Like the copper tone guy with the hair. The Lego guy. Um, you look like those guys that draw their fucking hairline and it's just shiny. <laughs> You're so dramatic, babe. You have eyebrows. This is the Morphe Adam 432 and your favorite full coverage concealer. Wait, wait, did you want me to look at your eyebrows or were you trying to give me a kiss? My eyebrows. Get a little bit on with that brush. Oh. Oh. She's trying. I'm trying to go on a date. I'm, I'm actually going to start Googling since you got to do your eyebrows. What we can can do because the later it gets on a saturday night the more things that are like all right let's do it baby yeah y'all gotta hurry you guys are you guys had I mean, we don't got the right brushes man you guys just like, started naming the brushes by like numbers and colors and, and shapes that means that that must be very important okay. <laughs> listen they're average people okay snow may be famously known but she's pretty average she lives her life pretty humble she's not gonna have all the brushes that james charles has do you like what you have? I got my swap me three four five five right here. Bam. Are we using yellow? He said what? Which yellow is it? This yellow? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so even if we mess up, we gotta go out like this. Her brother edits the videos. He's funny. Out like this. We're gonna go looking like two parakeets. Oh my god, it'll be so funny for us to have the same outfit and the, and the same makeup. They're gonna be like, what the hell are y'all twins? Believe it or not, you know how many times people ask us if we're twins? I'd be like, is that your way of getting us to say we're girlfriends but not asking? Because I guess it would be rude if it's like, hey, are you two lesbians? And then we were like, just friends? That'd be weird. Yeah, a lot of people are like asking us if we're sisters or we're twins. It's kind of weird. Speaking of sisters. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it to the bright orange. Oh, oh my god, it's so fast. Jesus. So the orange is gonna be. So if my eyeball ain't as big as his, then I need to be careful because I'm about to fish them. Well, just do it just how you would do it in your makeup. Girl, I only use two colors. Sometimes you be having a little sunset vibe going on. I be seeing. You be having like mad different shades. I'm like, okay, babe. And she's <laughs> doing it to match her hair. I love that. Just gonna look like Cheetos. That's exactly <laughs> what I feel like I'm looking at. That's what it does look like. What in the hot Cheeto puff is going on here, James <laughs> Charles? You're supposed to be the creme de la creme of beauty. Maybe it's just when you attach it to Latina girls, we just look like a bag of Cheetos. <laughs> Girl, this looks terrible. You wanted to use our new palette, so. By the way, I wanna um do this. I wanna do this thing where I wanna answer um subscribers questions i'm not ignoring y'all i promise i appreciate all of my subscribers and everyone that watches my videos trust me i really do appreciate it i just get so caught up and so busy like i, I just don't have like the patience to sit down and comment back but i read every single one of your comments trust me i do um but i did want to i did reply to her but I also want to reply to her on this video. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Her name is Edarles Gustina. She asks, do you guys have Latin slash Spanish background? Heard the TV in the background, sorry. This was actually a comment from the last video. In the beginning of the video, I scared my wife. And uh, yes, I did answer her. Yes, we are Hispanic. I am, I am full Mexican and so is my wife, full Mexican. Okay, back to the video. But we have to check out the tutorial, what you mean? Mine's not looking like his, bruh. Is there a video about like how to fix your eyeshadow when you f***ed up? Oh, I know how. You use powder. You you use white piece. You use powder. Yo, I or straight you. up look like a hot Cheeto. Not even a hot Cheeto. Cheeto puff. Oh yeah. Oh, soggy Cheeto. Uh, does not look like his at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I look like some sort of tropical bird. Okay, you look fine. I hate this guy. Why do you do this to me? Oh no, now we're adding purples into this? Babe, I'm getting very let down by my makeup. Baby, you're not done. You know once you put your liner in your lashes, that's... No, girl, she's looking besides, crazy. we're adding purples and... No. Juju, be honest with her. She's looking crazy. She really is. Juju, you're doing a really good job with yours, but Snow, girl, what did you do? 
so it's gonna look way cuter instead of just looking like she's trying to make her feel better i get it but you also have to be honest with your partner and cheeto does now i'm gonna look like a bruised cheeto baby okay did you do your cut please? girl no i'm depressed i actually can't wait for the finished look so do you want me to do it for you mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. If you're in a relationship, which one gets babied a lot? I get babied, believe it or not. Like when it comes to Pris, Pris is the more tough one. But when I can't do something or I would like something to be done for me, I act like a baby, just like her. Just like that. <laughs> you smell so good. Just like that, I swear to you. All right, no, I won't punk out, I won't punk out. Just like I hope you don't punk out whenever I make you do sports <laughs> or anything. This is way easier than stuff. What? No, it's not. This is hard. This I've played sports. You trust me. This is stressful. Okay. So, um, the thing is, I don't think I did it right. Ooh, child, I love this palette. I don't really know how to do it, but it's always cat party. But basically, you're gonna want. I'm so confused. Maybe you got this. It looks good. Chill. You know, I I I know a tip. You get like a fluffy brush, and you find like the palest nude. And you can just like blend out the outside and it'll give you like a smoother look. Mm -hmm. Do it. You see how I like kind of like blended it out a little with with the beige eyeshadow? Mm -hmm. But it's a little <laughs> better, right? You like it better? Well, the thing is, it'd be looking cool right here. And then when I see it over there, it looks stupid. It doesn't look stupid. Shut up. Oh, it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. What you mean? You almost done. Oh, that's this adorable. This is of trying new things. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to do my baby hairs. I know they have like edge gels and stuff, but sometimes they're like dandruffy or I like the natural slick. And then I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when it gets a little fuzzy, I think it's cute. But like when it's just like glued to my forehead, I don't like that. So I use this lock and twist gel. I will usually do like the curl and sh but I like to leave this side flat. Man, this is dumb. Damn, I just messed up my eye. So why do girls use toothbrushes for that, for their baby hairs? Do they not sell anything it's specifically for baby hairs? Why does everyone go straight to the toothbrush? Comment below, please, and let me know, because I really don't have a clue on why that is. Damn it. You just doing that so you could just take your ring off. No. Girl, we going on a date. I don't care how much time I make up this. We've looked worse. Oh, uh, one thing about box braids, your edges and your freaking the corner of your eyebrow always wipes off because of your braids just swinging around all damn day. Smoking. It's beautiful. What the heck? It looks like a tequila sunset. Hmm. Yo, my girl, when she had pink hair, she would put her pink eyeshadow on. By the way, I do not smoke marijuana. I do not smoke weed. The only thing I do, I do smoke every once in a while is CBD, okay? And that's for my anxiety. Because we have some nosy people sneaking into my YouTube channel who's, who has no business to do so, by the way, but do anyways because they want to be nosy and, and they've been talking shit. So, no, I don't smoke weed. And plus, for those who do smoke it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's natural, okay? Better than man-made medication, man-made pills that you can overdose on and die. Okay? Just saying. Yeah, I feel like we could do different things, like different makeup styles like this. But with our fast-paced lifestyle, we kind of just have to do our go-to looks and just keep it vision. But obviously for a video for you guys or maybe another date night, we could take our time. I mean, this was, I mean, this was a fail for me. I think you look good. Thank you, babe. That's a testament to how much you love me, but you know I did. Oh, my gosh. Let me see. It Man, looks better. Oh, it looks a lot lashes? better. Your lashes. Do you want me to do your lashes? All right. So this is kind of my look, I guess. I don't. Uh, oh shoot! I should do my lip liner. You look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I'm about to do my lashes because I haven't learned yet. She tells me sometimes when I'm not doing anything because you know I'm never doing anything. <laughs> so I might as well just learn how to do my. Girl, lashes. can you come over here before I smudge your eyebrows? You're talking shit. First of all, Juju has such nice lashes. If I have Juju's lashes, I wouldn't struggle gluing some annoying ass lashes on. Wow, big difference. Um, I feel like this mascara is crazy. I don't even need that. Look, I got long eyelashes. Can you see? Hold on. Or maybe should I go this way? Can y'all see that? 
Can you see that? I never tried this mascara, so since it came with a concealer, I was like, I might as well try it. It makes me look like I have fake lashes on. Yeah, only people with nice lashes can say that. Like, there is no mascara that's going to make me look like I have fake eyelashes on. None. Now, mind you, back in the day, I did used to wear mascara only, and it worked out. But after, like, a year and a half of only getting lash extensions, I feel like I'm balder. So we're going to go. Where are we going to go? With? We're probably going to go do, like, food, drinks, hopefully dancing. We should do something that we, that we don't really be doing. Like, whenever we go out, like, we don't really dance that much. Like, we should go somewhere where we know there's going to be music, and we should dance all night. Yes, I think y'all should. Is that cheesy of me? To no. Think that I want to dance all night. Like, I want to dance. We don't be dancing. Juju don't be dancing on me. Oh, what? I dance on you way more than you dance on me. Sigh. Sis. Sis me one more time. <laughs> why, that, why is that, though? Why don't you guys dance on each other that much? I remember, man, back in my heyday when I used to go clubbing a lot. I would literally get to the club early, which is like 10 p.m. People don't get there till midnight. I don't give a fuck. Get there by 10 p.m. Dance my ass off all the way till like 4 in the morning. That's what the time clubs close in Chicago. All the way, non-stop, I'm on that dance floor, I promise you. Now, mm, I'll go on the dance floor like every now and then. But we don't even go to clubs anymore, so <laughs> I really don't know how I would be right now. <laughs> this smells really good, by the oh. way. It kind of smells like cotton candy. Mm -hmm. I still gotta go do my hair. I still gotta go get dressed. Juju's gonna get dressed. We're probably gonna vlog a, a date night with us. Not the personal parts, but probably just some of the fun stuff or whatever. That way you guys can be our third wheel since we... No, girl. My advice to y'all, don't do that. Me, my wife and I, we vlogged for two years, even on our alone, t even on our alone time, our date nights. And I kind of wish we never did that because that's not really alone time. Like, you're not really interacting with your partner one-on-one. -on -one. It's, it's you, your partner. You're talking to your partner, but you're also talking to the damn camera. Okay? You're also talking like this. That's not, that's not good interaction with your partner. So, please, you guys, leave the camera at home. We'd rather have a third wheel in a camera than in person. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Make sure you get these sweaters on Vibe Hire. Make sure you support everydaydays.shop. No. <laughs> VibeHire.shop and everydaydays.com. Vibehire.shop, everydaydays.com. Make sure you support all that stuff. Um, I know that I've been, like, I was kind of failing in there. And then, like, I think I didn't do as great as James Charles. But I think, you know what I'm saying? I think for my first time ever following the tutorial, it wasn't super bad. Like, it wasn't super terrible. But I definitely felt intimidated. <laughs> and I'm going to buy a bunch of new brushes. So stay tuned if you want another one. Because hopefully I get better. And you can follow the tutorial with us. And hopefully you'll be better, too. I think I, so is this another competition that I won? Mm -hmm. Look, show me look. Ooh. And for today's look, we have look at that. Okay, check it. Day. I like it. Y'all, y'all cleaned up really nice. Wow, good job, ladies. The makeup is flawless. The the outfits that you guys decided to wear is shit. Stands out like a motherfucker. You guys look amazing, and you guys look like a beautiful couple. I'm proud to be a lesbian right now, I ain't gonna lie to you, and a Hispanic lesbian at that. Go ahead, y'all, do your thing. Just expect to get hit on. Anywhere you guys go, especially from straight men. The man is gonna hit on one of you guys, and then his best friend's gonna try to hit on the other, thinking they all are friends. Oh, the lesbian lifestyle. <laughs> This is a look that lets you know, no, stay away, guy. I may not be interested in you. I like motorcycles. <laughs> or kind of got something going on and don't let everybody know, wow, that's an attractive woman, yet I'm scared and fearful that <laughs> she looks like she likes to live on the edge and on True. the wild side. True. Might be enticing, might be scary if I have a switchblade. We are carrying pepper spray tonight, ladies What's and up? gentlemen. Be careful. And to all the overbearing studs out there, feel this big dick energy. <laughs> We're queer, and we're riding motorcycles. That's what's up. We're here, and we're diesel. <laughs> we do, like, random poses, so you don't know, can do, like, Oh, yeah, you don't know, can do, like, a photo, like, a... All right. Y'all look cute. Yeah. 
All right, so here we are. We got ready. This is a date night. We're about to go eat food, dance, hopefully, because like I said, I want to dance. That's what I really want to do. And yeah, we're going to go have fun. This is an impromptu date night, by the way, which was very necessary. My hair is wet. Yes, I didn't do my hair, but it's raining. So in my defense, <laughs> I'm just going to look like I've been outside riding my motorcycle. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I showed up, I showed up on my uh, crotch rocket. Crotch rocket. Oh my god, babe. Like, my makeup definitely doesn't look as good as his. My makeup doesn't even look in the general vicinity <laughs> of shit. But it's not bad. I don't think anybody's gonna walk by and be like, hey, did you follow the James Charles tutorial <laughs> and fail? I think they're just gonna be like, hey, <laughs> show me your ID so you can get in the club. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Thank you so the much. We might vlog our date night. Just a classic date night. Like I said, we'll keep some of the stuff out. But why not? You guys can keep us company. You can see the highlights of our date. Mm -hmm. All right, babe. Well, let's go because the is getting hangry. <laughs> I'm I love that song. <laughs> That's their song that they have that they have together. Juju does not rap, but Snow made her rap on that song and they did very well. I think they hit the top charts. Anyways, uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. Cheers, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Peace.